So the Hark system was developed as a hypothermia kit uh, built for operational forces. Um, one of the key things starting with the system is the first thing, the whole entire system fits into what we call the, uh, the Hark deployment bag. It's actually a bag that can be jumpable. One of the other pieces is the waterproof bag uh, can be mounted onto any gunnel of any, any dive boat, any operational boat and it just sits there and it's uh, waiting for any sort of hypothermic emergency. It's able to be hung on the back of a Humvee, back of, back of a helo, it's there whenever you need it. Whole entire system all fits inside here and comes in without the battery, comes in less than six pounds with the battery, can be added up to nine pounds. And this is the most important piece of the, uh, of the whole product. This is our hypothermia blanket. This blanket goes to 104 degrees, will stay at 104 degrees on a brand new 2590, for up to seven hours. The unique thing about you powering off a 2590, most all operators have a 2590 on their, on their person for comms and various other things. So you have an unlimited amount of supply of energy in order to keep this blanket up to 104 degrees. But with additional adapters, additional adapters, we have the ability of plugging into 110, 220, 24 volt, 48 volt, and uh, solar option if, if need be. The ALP system is built so that it wicks all the fluid away from the body. Put the patient on top, then the hypothermia blanket goes over the top of the patient. That can go directly to skin, will not burn the skin. You basically can knock it down to, put it down to 98.6 degrees, and it'll maintain the heat there. Unlike some of the other kits that are out there, they're unable to move it. You actually have to put them on a spine board, put them on a sked coat. This actually, you can move a patient, carry up to 350 pounds, 